This is Charles Nishimura reporting live from Tompkins Square Park in New York City. I am here braving the worsening conditions to bring you an exclusive interview with Mr. Go Lightly. I spoke with Mr. Go Lightly earlier today to discuss the new information provided by the aliens and his disagreements with the president. Hello, Mr. Go Lightly. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you giving us this time. Thank Look, you. I'm just going to hop right into it. You have been a big supporter of the president and his policies, even when they were not popular with your people. But now you're taking what many might call a hypocritical stance. Do you think you can convince the president to not send African-Americans into space? If you were to talk to the president right now, what would your message for the president be, please? Mr. President, I've supported you and your policies, even when they led to the repeal of the civil rights laws that we were marched for in the 60s, even when they led to the revocation of affirmative action programs geared towards leveling the playing field for African-Americans, even when they led to the severe reduction in public assistance, even while my people call me an Uncle Tom, mm. even though I didn't always agree or when I felt like your policies were damaging for the poorest of Blacks, I went along. Mr. President, what I'm hearing today is that black people are no longer a viable part of this society. They are but an unneeded appendage like a spleen. Is this how far we've come from the lynchings and the water hoses and the dogs? If these aliens were to ask for white people, surely you would say no. Even if they were to ask for all the poor white people, you would say no. So why is it a consideration to send the African-Americans into outer space Mr. President, I cannot be objective on this issue. I am as patriotic as anyone else in your cabinet, and I would give my life for this country. Well, those are very tough words for the president, Mr. Golightly. Um, would you say at this point that you've fallen out of favor with him? Is that true? Look, my duty stops short of condemning my wife, and my three children, and my mother to an unknown fate. Mr. President, we cannot pay off this country's debt with the souls of black folks. I think we can leave it right there. Mr. Golightly, thank you very much for your words and I appreciate your time. Thank you, Charles. And that's it. You heard it here first, folks. Mr. Golightly, newly fallen from the president's graces, now condemns the actions of one of his biggest heroes, all in order just to save his own family and not help the world. Wait, folks, what is this? Th Phil, Phil, come, come, quick, 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 an alien, uh, uh, Mr. Alien, Mr. Alien, Charles Nishimura here, TrueSeekers.net, big fan, please tell us, how is it that you can afford to give us all these resources? Humans of planet Earth, we have come today to save you from crisis. Your dying environment, failing economies, and over-exhausted resources have brought you on the brink of extinction. Thankfully, we have just what you need. Foreign chemicals, foreign to you but native to us, which will undoubtedly cleanse your lands and waters. Gold, which will ease the economic downturns many of your countries have faced in the last several decades, and a totally safe nuclear engine and fuel to ease you from further exploiting your last remaining resources. But most importantly, we will rid your planet of those parasitic leeches that use your resources and give nothing in return. Racism will be a thing of the past. Uh, yes, but Mr. Alien, uh, these are human lives we're talking about. We can't just give them over to you. Well, thankfully, your leaders, crowns, presidents, and prime ministers have given in to our resources as they have proven legitimate. Beginning today, we will take over planet Earth and make it our new home. Expect many changes to come very, very soon. And whatever they may be, we expect your full cooperation. We thank you for your generosity. Uh, thank you, Mr. Alien. Wow, folks, well, you heard it here first. 
the choice is clear. It is ahead of us, and are we brave enough to do what needs to be done? This is Charles Nishimura reporting for TruthSeekers.net.